industry's best fishing rods are rods that are powerful, sensitive, and lightweight for their size. A lot of elements and engineering go into the development of a rod that can deliver on all of these key features. Here are the differences you'll find when buying inexpensive production big volume fishing rods versus purchasing a high-end quality fishing rod. Buying low-end rods isn't economy at all, and here's why. Typically fiberglass blanks are what you will find on cheap rods, however, fiberglass blanks can be made of different materials such as e-glass, s-glass, and others, and are useful in certain applications. Generally speaking, S-Glass is much better and lighter and may be used in high-end fiberglass rods such as the Cast King Cat Tech and Cast Cat Rods. Here is a look at the Cast King testing facility running some tests on the Cat Tech Catfish Rod. One thing you're not going to find in cheap fishing rods is carbon fiber graphite rod blanks. Graphite blanks are often confusing because there are so many different graphite materials. Generally speaking, the higher the modulus rating the blank is, the lighter and more sensitive it is. But they will also be more brittle and delicate. It is a fine line to design a rod that meets strength and sensitivity requirements while still being light and durable. Blanks are often rated in tons. 24 ton, 30, 36 ton, 40 ton, or more. 24 ton is stronger, but not as light or sensitive. 40 ton is light and sensitive, but not as strong. Then you have the different sources of these materials, such as the Japanese Terray carbon blanks, as used in the Cast King Chrome, the Wide Eye Walleye, and Pair G2 rods, and are considered one of the best blanks in the fishing tackle industry. One thing you will never find in cheap fishing rods is nano resins, as used in the Cast King Speed Demon Pro rods and the Cast King Chrome Series steelhead and salmon fishing rods. Nano resins are high tech and add expense to a rod, but they are well worth it. They greatly increase strength and sensitivity, all while reducing weight, and here's why. Hey everybody, Al Norker here with Cast King Fishing. I want to bring you some new technology, all right? So in our new Chrome Series Salmon and Steelhead Rods, uh, obviously this is a very high modulus rod, very powerful, very light, and one of the key features in this rod uh, is the use of nano silica resins. Let's talk about nano silica resins for just a minute and the technology used to build really high-end performance-based fishing rods. So when we roll blanks and, and we make fishing rods, we got to bind all this, these high-end components together. There's different types of resins. Let's talk about nano resins. So nano meaning extremely small, tiny particles, smaller than what you would typically use in a normal resin that binds the, the carbon matrix uh, fibers together. So nano resins meaning very small. What they actually do is they they get deep inside those small imperfections that can cause failures in rod building. Uh, the smaller the particles, the smaller the sources that they go inside, and they actually improve the strength by reducing weight. And that's really the key. We're going to increase strength, reduce weight, increase sensitivity by using nano silica resins in building high-end performance rods just like this new chrome series from Cast King. and again one more feature on this rod I just want to mention really quick is Kevlar and we use the Kevlar in the butt section of the rod all the way through the reel seat and what that really does it adds uh, that impact uh, performance when that rod goes down maybe hits off the gunnel of a boat or in hook setting power what we have now is a rod that really generates incredible hook setting power, penetrate those hooks, land more fish. This is chrome from Cast King using nano silica resins, Kevlar, and a, a beautiful rod. 
Composite blanks are not as sensitive as pure graphite blanks, but they are stronger and more durable. They do have their place when strength is needed or durability is required for a large fish or tough conditions. Casking uses composite blanks in the Cat Tech Catfish, Speed Demon Pro, and the Speed Demon Bass crankbait rods. Beware that some rods, although sold at a much higher price point, are inferior. Their blanks only go into a portion of the handle, which can be a bad thing and greatly weaken the actual structure of the rod and the integrity. Casking rods, the blank goes entirely through the handle. Two-piece rods with joining ferrules can vary widely. There are put-over ferrules, put-in ferrules, spigot joint ferrules, and even hybrid spigot joint ferrules that can be made to look like real spigot ferrules but are really a put in or put over ferrule design that looks similar to a true spigot joint. There are reasons to use each of these. Lower end rods use the put in ferrules for strength and cost of construction. Put over is a step up and looks better for some rods than put in ferrules. You will not find spigot ferrule joints on cheap two piece fishing poles. Spigot ferrules have a continuous taper of the rod blank and connect each section with a carbon insert. This is going to give the rod a nice even power curve. Spigot ferrule joints are often used in high-end rods and high-end fly fishing rods. Low grade fishing line guides are a big way to save costs and are used on inferior fishing poles. The key elements of these line guides are the materials of the guides such as stainless or titanium, etc., and can be used to reduce weight or add weight. Some guides are single foot, some are double foot. Titanium guides, as used on the cask and calamus rods, greatly reduce weight without sacrificing performance. Double foot guides are needed for strength on rods built for big fish. Shape and size of the guides is very important as they affect the action of the rod and can decrease line twist and wind knots. The air inserts or rings are also a big cost savings. Cheap rods that may use wire line guides without inserts, some that do not have inserts and they are just solid, thick stainless steel. These are often used on low end rods or as a compromise on rods that require strength. Other materials have different hardness ratings and are much lighter. Alkanite is a good and common material. There are also regular ceramic rings or even silicone carbide rings, which are very hard and thin and great for braid, but are much, much more expensive. Japanese Fuji guides are world renowned by anglers and rod builders and are used on Casking Sharky 3, Speed Demon Bass, Speed Demon Pro, Wide Eye Walleye, Chrome, Cat Tech, and Perigee Rods. Real seats are made in many styles and brands. Most of these are made of nylon or graphite material. Design shapes add cost and weight is a big factor and the addition of plated hoods adds cost and increases the appearance of the seats. Some are made of aluminum for strength or appearance, especially on fly rods or big game rods. Some real seats have single locking ring which can come loose. Others have double locking rings which may be better for some applications, but are not found on lesser quality rods. Fuji real seats are used on Cast King Sharky 3, Speed Demon Bass, Speed Demon Pro, Chrome, Wide Eye Walleye, and Cat Tech fishing rods and are considered the best. Handle materials can vary widely. EVA was once considered a low end material, but now there is a new high density EVA, which is pretty good. Generally speaking, EVA is used on lower end rods. Now cork comes in many styles and quality from a single A grade to a triple A to a flora grade Portuguese cork, which is rare and expensive. There is also lower end cork called P cork that is actually EVA wrapped with a cork skin. It feels soft and you can tell the difference between that and regular cork. A new product from the Wind Company 
is a golf style grip that is very nice but expensive and according to most anglers offers the best grip. Wind grips can be found and are used on the Casking Speed Demon rods. You will not find them on inexpensive brand fishing rods. Now your finishing work, that's what can separate a low cost to a high end fishing rod. Simple, solid, one color paint is often used with very little special wrapping treatments. Higher end graphite rods will often use a transparent paint which allows the grain of the carbon to show through. You might also see paint with metallic chips in it, but they add weight and they are expensive. But they do look great. Guide wraps come in all styles from solid color to multiple colors and trims. Cross wraps are often used on larger rods. Guide wraps are not just cosmetic. They can add strength to guides and ferrules and really finish a rod. High performance rods may use Kevlar fabric to reinforce the butt section, which you will not find on inferior rods, period. Finish work is a point where inferior rod builders can really trim their production costs. On rods such as the Cast King Wide Eye Rod for walleye fishing, a seven step process is used for the final finish resulting in a beautiful high quality luster. Cosmetics and graphics are often used to upgrade rods. For example, rather than just printing the company name in a solid color by pad printing, a special holographic decal can be used to add a graphic element and then clear coated for durability. Low end rods are generally very plain looking with better rods having a much higher end finish. There are other details such as hook holders that low end fishing pole builders will skip or will use cheap wire hook holders. Casking includes a unique high end hook holder on every casking rod.